What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we gotta talk about what happened on this episode of Monday Night Raw. It was a pretty good episode in my opinion. Uh, shout out to everyone that joined us on the live stream reactions uh, on Twitch and on YouTube. Me and Dub, we enjoyed the show. There were some pretty good matches. Crowd was really into what we were seeing on the show. But we gotta talk about, obviously, the big topic of discussion that everyone's been talking about all day, CM Punk's injury and what he had to say. Um, CM Punk started off the show, came out there in a sling, and uh, he basically let everybody know um, that, he, you know, obviously he wasn't successful in winning uh, this year's Royal Rumble. He congratulated Cody Rhodes and wanted him to finish his story. And then, you know, he had to let people know that, you know, he um he was legit injured uh injured torn uh had a torn a um tricep uh, i believe it's on his left arm if i'm not mistaken it was a torn tricep um and it's funny we're gonna get into it but it, i believe it was from when drew mcintyre hit him with the future uh shock ddt and he was you know pretty much hurt for the rest of the match so shout out to him for even finishing the rest of the royal rumble match but that probably would make sense why he looked a little bit sluggish out there when he was facing cody in the last you know last uh, when they were the last two competitors but he was talking about how he has a torn uh tricep and he's gonna be out for a while and it doesn't look like he's gonna be uh ahead uh, in wrestlemania this year but then he also started talking about um this cancer patient that he had, you know, he visits on the regular and how he, you know, he always has a smile on his face and how he's always trying to, you know, well, how he keeps fighting, even though he's dealing with something very serious that that affects a lot of people in the world. He still has a he's still able to put a smile on his face and he's still able to keep fighting. And he started to get a little emotional. And it was it was a really emotional situation because he put things in perspective. This this right here is just a flesh wound. He'll heal. I will be back. And I will be able. You know, I'm, I'm and I'm gonna WrestleMania ne uh, I'm WrestleMania. <laughs> I'm going to main event WrestleMania next year. And then out come Drew McIntyre. His music hit. And <clears throat> I knew this was going to be some savagery heel stuff because they're going to play into the fact that he's really injured. They're also going to play into the fact that essentially Drew is the person that injured CM Punk, obviously not on purpose, but they're playing up the story. So I already knew it was going to be on some BS. He comes out there and he starts off the promo as if he's concerned and he, you know, he can empathize with CM Punk. And he's like, I said some things about you that I meant, you know, I really thought, you know, you were a cancer. Well, I really think, you know, you are a cancer to the locker room and all this other stuff. And, you know, when you eliminated me, it hurt. You know, it was it was really devastating. But, you know, don't you know, and even when I went to sleep at night, you know, I was tossing and turning. But then when I found out the news you were hurt, I was praying for this moment. And it came true. When I found out you was hurt, I was able to sleep like a baby afterward. I felt good. Even though I didn't win the Royal Rumble, knowing that you was hurt, it, I, it made everything worth it. And I'm the one to have done that. I'm the one that took away your opportunity. I'm the one that's going to go ahead and main event WrestleMania. I'm going to finish your story because I took that away from you. I, so good heel heat. Like this solidified him being a heel. The, someone say I prayed for this to happen to you and it did. And I now I was I was able to get a good night's sleep after I found out. Or I was able to sleep like a baby afterwards. That's evil. That's rogue to the highest degree. Praying for someone's injury is some wild business. And then obviously CM Punk got up to him. He was like, you know what? When I do come back, I am gonna main event next year's WrestleMania. But that's not gonna be first on my list. 
You know what's going to be first on my list? Taking you out. And I can't wait. I cannot wait. Jesus, he made it very clear. When I come back and after I get healed up, I'm taking you out. Simple as that. That's going to be a really good, interesting few whenever that does happen. So, of course, I kind of figured once they separated, then Drew was going to attack him. Uh, you know, CM Punk tried the best he could with one arm, but it was too much. And then Drew started to attack CM Punk on his arm. And that's when Sammy Music hit. And, you know, Sammy kind of ran off Drew McIntyre. But Drew was happy about his work. He had officials come out there to check on CM Punk. This was really good heel work. I will say that. It made you hate Drew because you know he's the reason why it happened. And he's praying that it. He, CM Punk got injured, he ended up getting injured, and he's happy about it, and now he's taking his spot. I love that. That was fantastic. They have really ramped up Drew McIntyre's heel turn, and it, it's, it works. It, it's working for his character. He's getting some really good heel heat, and that was a good segment. Um, we also got to talk about Cody Rhodes um, coming out there um, and basically letting people know who does he feel like he's going to be challenging at this year's WrestleMania? We kind of all had the indication of who he was going to potentially challenge. And right before he was really about to say it, Seth Rollins' music hit. Now, initially, I was like, ah, I don't know, Cody. Stay away from this. But Seth actually was cooking here. He took off the glasses, and he was actually being serious. And a serious Seth Rollins is really the best version of him. Wish they would do that more with him. But he took off the glass and he said, look, I know you want to fight Roman, but you don't need to fight Roman. I know you've been thinking about going after Roman for a whole year to finish your story, but you don't need to because that's beneath you. You need to fight me. You need to fight me because this championship is, means more than what Roman is holding. The guy that barely shows up. The guy that has to cheat in every single match just to win. <clears throat> the guy that doesn't care about the business. The guy that only cares, you know, you know, he started getting to his bag. He really started cooking. He basically was trying to bury the WWE championship. He's it's the it's the Hollywood championship. Is that the, the title you want to fight for? The Hollywood championship? The championship that's hollow and doesn't mean much of anything. He was really trying to bury it. Even though it's funny when you think about it, because at one point Seth was trying to get that same championship from Roman, but that's neither here nor there. But he was really trying to sell the point that this is a championship you should be fighting for. The championship, the workhorse championship. This is the dusty championship. That's what he said. He's trying to really get him to fight for it. He's like, this is the championship that I think your father would have, you know, would have wanted to go for. But it's not about him. It's about it's about you. This is the workhorse championship. And this is the most prestigious championship in the company. Doesn't matter how long Roman holds it, owns that title. This is the title that matters. And I can appreciate Seth Rollins at, when, when he's done with the title to try to make it the best prestigious title of all out of all uh, out of all of them. But once again, we all know at the end of the day, the WWE championship, that's the one. That that's the one. And, you know, they've they've made it feel like it's the most important championship in the company. Not to disrespect what Seth Rollins has done with the World Heavyweight Championship. And I get he's doing the best he can. But we know that championship was only created because <laughs> Monday Night Raw didn't have a top champion, unfortunately. So he was making a really good case, though. You, if you guys want to see the promo, go check it out. He was making a, he was making a really good check, uh, case. Even the fans were kind of split. Some fans were saying no, don't go for the title, go for Romans, and other fans were saying yes, challenge Seth Rollins. And uh, Cody basically said, you know what, <laughs> I wasn't even expecting this from you, but I'm gonna think about it now. And I get why they're doing this because even though at the Royal Rumble when Cody won, he pointed straight towards Roman, not at Seth, <laughs> even though. I get what they're trying to do to try to get you to, you know, to buy into the potential that he may choose Seth. But it also makes sense from Seth's uh, point of view 
because Seth hasn't beaten Cody yet. Seth has lost to Cody, I want to say three times. So this for him, for Seth, is it's a moment of finally being able to beat Cody when it matters and finally being able to overcome Cody. So I see why Seth would come out there. Don't fight Roman. No, 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 no. Fight me because Seth needs that. So I like what they did there. Seth has his reasons to do it because he has not beaten Cody since Cody's been back. So he needs that win over him. He needs that to solidify what he's done. So I, I like what Seth was saying. And it's going to be interesting to see how Cody's going to go about his decision. But I do think Roman's going to get, Roman's going to say something that's going to trigger Cody to the point. He's like, nah, I hear what you're saying, Cody, but I got to take this son of a bitch down. And I think that's what's going to happen. Because Roman can easily say, yeah, go fight Seth. Because we already know how this ends with me. You couldn't beat me last year. What makes you think you're going to beat me this year? At the end of the day, I, I told you last year, your father would have loved me and probably preferred me as his son than you. I'm the son he wished he had, but he never had. I'm the son that he wanted. He, I said that to you last year, and I proved it when I beat you last year. So go ahead. Make your dad proud. Beat, beat Seth. Beat that other champion because you're not in my league. And then I can see... Cody be like, yep, my mind's been made up. I'm sorry, Seth. I appreciate the offer, but I got to take care of business and take out uh, Roman Reigns. So <laughs> definitely a great segment. I enjoyed that. I, I love when Seth Rollins is serious, and I definitely enjoyed the open, opening segment with Drew McIntyre and CM Punk. It, that, that's just a cold line saying, I have been praying for this to happen to you and that's that's a cold line by drew I ain't gonna lie to you so comment down below let me know did you guys enjoy the cm punk uh drew tack uh, drew mcintyre segment also did you guys enjoy the seth rollins and cody Rhodes segment and how they're trying to really play up the fact will cody choose seth will he choose roman let me know how y'all felt about those segments and raw overall in general but i appreciate all the love support you guys showing on channel world 250k i'm still getting speed of youtube wrestling champion world appreciate y'all kicking me see y'all next one peace